Pop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another Tabletop Spotlight. This is Larry Vella from Bella Souls. I'm Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And, oh my gosh, it is week two of the Games Workshop release kind of uh, multi-week window for the Death Watch. Yes. The first new codex, new faction this game right. has gotten in mm -hmm. years, and the first new codex they've gotten in very cool. since, in about a year, since someone would say Tau, which was a, a the much, special many, many forces, basically. Yeah, exactly, it's, it's yeah. kind of the special forces of, of Marines. We have, uh, there's a whole bunch of kits that came out this week, and we're just gonna, we have kind of three sample ones here. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do we got? So we have the uh, Death Watch Watch Captain, because uh, they want to make things hard for you, so. Just remember that, folks. Death Watch, Watch, watch. Captain. Captain yes. that jokes can get really yes. old. Um, we have the new Death Watch Land Raider mm -hmm. right here, and then this one. This is uh, Kill Team Cassius, mm -hmm. which is, uh, we'll, we'll talk more about what's in all of these. So I can't wait to yeah. uh, tear into these boxes and see what, what's in there. Let's do it. All right, we're here with Death Watch Kill Team Cassius. Let's take a look at the box. We have the 11 miniatures. They're there in the front. We're going to flip this over. On the back, and here's all the guys we get. We have, um, who do we have here? And we're gonna have to pronounce all these names. <laughs> I love the Living Hurricane. He brought a motorcycle with him. And a bird. <laughs> and a bird, bird. Yeah. So here's yeah. our White Scars guy. All right. We have pretty much all the major players. We have our Blood Angel, mm -hmm. we have our Salamander, who's. Dark Angel. Dark Angel. Yeah. Space, Space Wolf, Wolves. Raven Guard, Ultramarine, mm -hmm. Imperial Fist, uh, Iron Hands with his Iron Foot. Uh, librarian. Uh, this this miniature is notable because this is the first miniature um, uh, from the Blood Raven. The Blood Ravens. Oh, okay. Or who are the chapter that was invented for the for the video games? Oh, interesting. And this okay. is the first time that that chapter has ever received an actual miniature. That's like, really cool. With their I didn't know that. On them. So oh, okay, now they're cool. now they're now they're legit. Right. In the universe. And then of course. Uh, who the squad is named after, that is Orton Cassius. He is the chaplain, so mm -hmm. the second member of the Ultramarines. And Blood Marines, or Blood Angels. And Blood Angels. Yeah. Right there. So mm -hmm. let's pull that aside and take a look at the sprues real quick. And how we. Da -da -da. We'll take a look at these sprues. We have all the bases that you would ever want. These right. are the same sprues that came with the uh, Death Watch Overkill box set, so we have seen these before several months ago, but here they are in. Um, here they are in um, in box form. This is two of them. We'll show you the third one in just a second. Um, uh, the guys are spread out all through them. We have uh, we have our biker. Uh, this is our white scars guy. There's right. the bird, and then all the little accessories. Here's the uh, um, uh, uh, everyone's new favorite weapon, uh, the, <laughs> the grenade launcher from the Death, <laughs> Death Watch Codex, which it turns out is is maybe the most high piece of technology in the entire Imperium, <laughs> based on its amazing different firing. Uh, firing choices, and then we have jump packs, and we have uh, the Blood Angel, and the Raven Guard, and mm -hmm. just all the different guys are in here. And uh, let's pull those. Take a look at third frame. Let's flip that around right there. And we have uh, librarians there. Yeah, uh, that's the Dark Angel. Oh, that's the Dark Angel. It's the Dark Angel. Yeah. Here's the Salamander. Oh, okay, cool. There's a librarian right there. Oh, there he is. Okay. With his four sword. Sweet sword. So, all that's there. Um, like I said, it's the same models. You get really, really quickly, you get all your bases mm -hmm. in the kit. And then, as we've been seeing from Games Workshop of late, every box set now does come with you get your uh, instruction sheet. So, you have all your assembly, all nice. It's all laid out, it's very clear. And more importantly, you get all their stats oh, wonderful. and points. All in one nice little spot, mm -hmm. too. That's so nice. there's everybody, and you also get it in Espanol and Francie. Ooh, very nice. I know, extra fancy. <laughs> there we go. All so right, great. That is, that is Death Watch Kill Team Cassius, and let's go take a look at the others. All right, Evan, it's our favorite new commanding officer. Death Watch Watch Captain. There we go, let's say that again. The Death Watch Watch, watch captain. captain. There we go. Third Two time. watches. Death Watch Watch, watch captain. captain. There we go. All right, captain everyone Tom. out in internet land, say that three <laughs> times fast, and then drink a Red Bull. Okay, <laughs> so uh, this, if it seems really familiar, it's because it is. This is the uh, Space Marine Captain right. miniature. It's been around for years, except uh, as we'll show you, um, 
Uh, this one has been glammed up a little bit Ooh, with some Deathwatch accessory. Up. Yeah, you makeover. Have, exactly, there he all is. Look, he has fancy sword and look, hey, that's a helmet that we haven't seen before. We'll get into that in just right. a second. Right, cool. So there you go. Uh, we're gonna move that box out of here really, really quick. You get, as with all of the kits this week, you get the instructions on how to put the guy together and, his, and yeah. his options. It's nice. And you, get, and you get his rule. And you get his rules. His stats. There all you go. Nice little spot. And there's a base. I know everyone is really. Is there a base? Yes. Of course there is. There is a base. Okay, more importantly, let's all get right, to the let's sprues. Let's get these sprues out. So, let you get those on here. Um, so, these are all the sprues that comes with. Okay, so the first thing you're going to see is that this and this, mm -hmm. you've seen these before, these have been around for years. This is just the standard. This this these two sprues are the standard Space Marine Captain okay. box. So, so you've seen them. Nothing new. Makes there. your captain. He, yeah, it's it's got he's got legs. He's got shoulder pads. He has various heads. He has all of his different captain weapons. He has his fancy, extra fancy pants. Ooh. Double eagle backpack. And of course, you can't be an officer in the Imperium without a cape. Of course, it's like a rule for yeah. superheroes. I get scared though if it got caught somewhere uh, while you're you know, fighting. I figured that the cape is like really light. Oh, that's a good and point. And these armor yeah. so heavy, it just get it won't yeah, pull. He's too tear it off. He, he's, yeah, yeah, he's strong enough. Yeah, it has quick release clasps. So <laughs> we'll say that. So we're gonna put these aside because what what really makes this kit, um, and I'm gonna zoom in a bit so yeah. you can all see it. So there this is really what you're getting. And right. and this kit is $30, so it's you're pretty much getting this for 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 almost free. And this is the big thing that's dis, that's defining all of the Death Watch kits this week that okay. have come out. Is they're all coming with is these are all Space Marine kits like Land Raiders and bikes and whatever, mm -hmm. but they're coming with this, which is what really lets you take a Space Marine kit and make it a Death Watch kit. This is the Death Watch accessory sprue. So what yeah. we have here, this is actually a pretty cool thing. So your goal, hobbyists out there in, <laughs> in hobby land across the globe, is is to use what's on this sprue and come up with all of your cool ideas of how to make your model, your your unpainted models, death watchy. Yeah, so I mean, it has plenty of shoulder guards and whatnot. So exactly. So the first thing we're seeing on this sprue, Games Workshop, copyright 2016. So it, it is new. They haven't Ooh. been since we have we've seen kits in the past where there'll right. be a sprue and it's new and it'll say like 2014. We're like, well, wow, they've been sitting on yeah. this for two years. What's going on? <laughs> and um, but this is clearly new. So uh, first thing is the, is the obvious one is the sprue gives us uh, ten shoulder pads. Okay. So those are standard Death Watch shoulder pads that you put on uh, normal Marines. Mm -hmm. So um, any of those kits, right. stern guards, tacticals, so you know, squad of normal Marines. Exactly. Okay. Ass 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 assault Marines. There you go. As members of the Death Watch, they only have to have the sh the, uh, the Death Watch pad only goes on one side. Okay. So you only need one per guy. Oh, okay, so then there's plenty for a lot. Exactly. Yeah. So what's probably going to end up happening is, is you're going to, if you buy several kits, mm -hmm. you're going to have all of the Death Watch accessories you need. But if you were kind of buying them on a kit by kit basis, you right. might be short. So as an example, you know, if you bought, you know, if you buy a Land Raider, hey, you're going to end up, you know, already ahead with, you know, because the, the Land Raider sense. doesn't need all of these shoulder pads, right? Sense, Whereas yeah. if you bought, you know, an assault squad, maybe you get, you know, you know, not enough For or whatever. Watch, yeah. But mm -hmm. but you know, here's an officer who's clearly one dude, right? And that one dude, you have all this extra stuff. So definitely, as you, someone who's building an entire Death Watch army, you're going to have all the bits you need. Okay, makes sense. Um, you also get so that's the outside of the frame. You also get um, you get a torso. Which is a, a front of torso, which is different. Okay. You get uh, this is interesting here. Uh, this and this, these are Terminator shoulder pads. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering because obviously what was you need about those, those. Yeah, they're slightly larger. These, yeah. So these are it's your Terminator, Terminator pads, Terminator. Okay. which which you know is going to be tricky because because that's actually probably the trickiest thing. So if someone is, wants to be doing large squads of Terminators, mm -hmm. you're going to need a lot of pads. Um, you're only getting two per sprue here. So I definitely, so. if you guys are planning on Terminators, make sure that you're. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you have enough of these sprues lying around that you're going to be able to do your whole squad. Well, are they going to have their own box for Terminators for Death Yes, okay, and, it's so. going to, and it will have to come, uh, you know, that box has five models in it for right. Terminator Squad. Clearly, it would need it would need three of these okay. sprues in it. So yeah, it yeah. may be that the Terminator box set may end up, uh, oh, which hasn't been re released yet. Right. But when it's officially unveiled and we see what's in it, it could be that that, sp that, that kit probably has lots of these sprues, uh, which, is gonna, which is gonna be like the ground zero for getting tons of pads and everything else. For starting your Which is kind of cool. Good. You get uh, the special uh, sword, which mm -hmm. apparently that little has this weird little skull and a little starburst thing on it's the pommel. Maybe it's that's the, maybe that's the official <laughs> symbol of the Death Watch. Who can say? Uh, you also get a special helmet, 
Yeah, uh, like this a is centurion a, helmet. Yep, he has like a little centurion, and we, we're gonna flip this over so you can see some of the other things. So yeah, it has a pretty cool little kind of a mark, cool. almost like a Mark III. Yeah, kind of that that kind of old like medieval knight kind of. Yeah, you know, uh, it's like a Roman it, and a medieval. Like, too yeah, he, cool. it, it's it's very similar to the to the head of the old Black Templars, uh, the Emperor's Champion. For okay, any of cool. you guys who, who who remember that, and then the other big thing you get. Is you get um, you get inquisitorial uh, the the inquisitorial eye logo. You get a little one, and you get um, two bigger ones. Mm -hmm. And these are the things that you're probably going to be using on vehicles. So as an example, like a land exactly. If okay. you have a rhino, if you have a drop pod, if you have any a, a land speeder, if you have any kind of just actual marine vehicle, and you're like, what's really going to make this thing look Hot. like it's a death watching death thing? Watch, yeah. Well, there you go. Black also, and red in that. Exactly. Uh, yes, and <laughs> maybe you, yeah. And apparently, according to the GW paint schemes, you're going to be painting all these things black. You're going to be putting you know, <laughs> red stripes on them, and maybe you'll paint the. Right, most quarter silver because <laughs> they're death watchy. But you know, we'll leave that. You know, I'll, we'll leave all that up to you guys. Um, but it is a pretty cool sprue. Like I said, it's everything you need. You get your ten, your ten normal pads. You get your two Terminator pads. You get a torso, a head, a special weapon, and uh, a, 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 a super fancy kind of high tech marine. Uh, marine head, which has like it has a little serv little servo yeah. eye and antenna sticking out of it, so it's a very uh, it's a very high tech techy kind of looking yeah. head. Um, you know, obviously this this thing here, um, the big fancy uh, helmet is coming on every one of these sprues, so right. it's not necessarily like that's an officer's head. You could use that. You know, you could collect those and use them for your for your sergeants. You can right. use them for any kind of officer. Or, you know, any any guy who needs to look special. You know, you could group them all together and make all your all your all your veterans in one squad look like that if they want to be special. And then you get all your little inquisitorial eyes. Cool. So there is your long, ex exhaustively detailed one sprue. <laughs> talk of this one little teeny tiny sprue. But I have to say, this is a sprue that a lot of people have been waiting for. You know, before this sprue existed, if you wanted to do a Death Watch army, there was the ancient, um, ancient metal shoulder pads from oh, like yeah. 20 years ago. Wow. Or, so, so, so this is, yeah, yeah this, is, <laughs> this is a huge deal. I think the normal tactical box set has like one Death Watch shoulder pad that you could use to climb up one guy. And it's not nearly as fancy as this one. Right. It's kind of a, it's kind of like the little, you know, the bargain warehouse version mm. of the, uh, of the of of a death watch shoulder pad, so very cool stuff. Uh, that is the once again. That is our our Let's zoom out a bit. Zoom out a little bit. That is our death watch watch captain. Captain. Watch, death watch watch captain. And okay, Evan, what do we got? Death Watch Land Raider. All right, which this is the same as kind of the standard modern. Uh, Land Raider. Land Raider combo kit. So this Step. this kit lets you build all three of the options. You could build the standard. Mm -hmm. I believe it's called the God Hammer. Don't quote me on that. You would know more than I. <laughs> uh, you can build a Crusader. You can build a Redeemer. So right. you but it's can, up. Yeah. So yeah. you can shoot them from far away. You can shoot them from close up and charge them, or you can set them on fire. That's. That's some good options there. The three ways of killing people <laughs> with Land Raiders um, on the back of it, but it is a it is a Death Watch version of it. Right. So as you can see, uh, what that means is that um, is that it has a different paint job and has these little teeny tiny eyes, little inquisitorial, inquisitorial. eyes stuck yeah. to it, which you will be able to get. And let's take a look inside the sky. Right. Nice. We're gonna open that up. Okay. Got it. Got it. Oh, there yes. we go. Must not damage the box. We're gonna have to flip it over. Uh oh, okay. There we are. All right. So, uh -oh. so right off the bat, what you're gonna notice, what you're gonna notice is this little um, guy. Is there's your Death Watch accessory sprue. Zoom in a bit. Yep. That's pretty good. So we have our Death Watch accessory sprue, which is the theme of this week's uh, Death Watch kits. As we have standard uh, standard Space Marine kits with this little this little doodad thrown in there. So that lets you. And in the case of uh, of uh, of the Land Raider, because it's a vehicle, the, the big thing you'll be wanting to look at is we have the three Inquisitorial eyes. Okay. And of course, you can also uh, the Land Raider kit does come with the crewman. Right, who's sticking up on the hatch? So you'll definitely want to give that guy a uh, death, wa uh, death watch shoulder pad, yeah. and if you want to fancy him up, he could have like the super high tech, oh, yeah. the super high tech helmet with the antenna and all the doodads because he's why not? Because yeah. he's a land raider driver. Right. Yeah. So, cool. I mean, you could give him the sword 
and the fancy helmet. <laughs> on top of the if you're if you're that kind if of total, if you're yeah. if you're that kind of guy, <laughs> put that aside. And then the rest of it, we're just going to go through this really really quickly. This is the standard Land Raider kit. Okay. So this is exactly Everything the regular Land Raider. Box. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So you get the Land Raider. There's the tracks. There's the top and all the engine stuff on the inside that I think three people in the world have ever actually assembled and or painted. Painted, yeah. Uh, more interior detail, there's the, the bottom of the crew uh, compartment, engines, the little command console. Okay. Uh, here is the, uh, the accessory sprue with the driver. Uh, who's sticking his uh, uh, with his uh, the kind of the his torso sticking out from the hatch? So this right. is, this is the part that you're going to uh, glam up with your right. with your cool death watch stuff. So you could give him like his little adepticus shoulder pad, uh, uh, his uh, um, um, his mechanicus gear because mm -hmm. he's a tech marine on right. that side and death watch on the other, and he'd be really cool. He'd be pretty pretty snazzy looking, I have to say. Do that. Um, this is the uh, Crusader and Redeemer sprue. So this is the sprue of the alternative weapon options uh, to turn your Land Raider into the other types of Land Raider, okay. aside from the basic one. Uh, even more here, we have uh, Soul Can. Th this is all, uh, uh, these are sponson parts, uh, weapon parts, uh, Assault Cannon, and uh, Hurricane Bolter option. Uh, okay. Sorry, um, um, I forgot what those are called. Those are the grenade launchers that fire off when you uh, when you charge with the Crusader. Okay. All of the laser cannons, some of them ever need. Yeah. Ever want. There they all are. That's for building the standard uh, uh, default uh, Land Raider and heavy bolters. And last but not least, the other side of the hull. This is a mirror of the of the other, other sprue that we saw. Okay. Um, oh, that is this is different. Interesting. You okay. have your instruction sprue telling you, hey, there's a Death Watch accessory sprue, and this is what you do with it. On a Space Marine, you can put those types of things. On Terminator. a Terminator, you get the okay. big shoulder pad, and on vehicles, you, hey, there you go, look, you dress up the guy, uh, give him the a shoulder pad, and yeah, you use, you the little, use the little eyes all over the place. All right. And they, t and they give you the little detailed explanation Color -coded too, yeah. where everything's supposed to go, fancy, fancy. and instructions. But that's all we got, and we'll be back. All right, so that was everything inside the box, mm -hmm. uh, Evan. Tell so, us what we're looking at here. Price-wise, the Captain is $25. Wow, uh, that is a super deal. It's a good price, yeah. That's a really good deal. Remember, you get the Death Watch accessory sprue in there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, the Land Raider is $80. And that's about a $5 difference from the regular Land Raider, mm -hmm. so that's not a bad deal either. Okay. Uh, and then this guy right here is $65. Which, I have to say, this is is probably the best deal of this whole week set because this right. is... This is all of the dudes. This is all eleven of the. You know, each one of these guys is a hero. It's a. It's a unique miniature. It's basically like getting eleven, you know, clan pack heroes. And these are the. I mean, this was the main reason that people bought uh, Death Watch Overkill, the big box set that mm -hmm. came out in Q1. Except that right. now you can get just so those guys for sixty-five bucks. Interesting. So yeah, if you're a marine, cool. if you're a marine player, this is the kit for you. And of course, all of this is out. So you yep. can buy it right away. Yep, Games Workshop out Games on the shelves. Workshop, you can walk into your store and lay down your cash yep. right now. Exactly. All right. Well, it's been another tabletop spotlight. Uh, I'm Larry Bella from Bella Souls. I'm Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching, guys. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.